Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports is being a little bit, well, kind of like EA yesterday in FIFA 23 with the start of the Foot Fantasy 2 promo. We didn't see some packs in the store that were just added to the code a couple of days ago that are specifically for this promo that have not been dropped yet. Those boosted pack odds packs are what we're talking about. We haven't seen them yet. Maybe we'll see them today. I'll put some insight into maybe why EA didn't release them yesterday, but how I still expect them during this promo. And also EA didn't even follow their own rules yesterday by upgrading Road to the Final cards early. We will take a look at that and you may not have noticed but these promo cards are only in packs for four more days we'll talk about that and why that might be the case and what could today look like on FIFA 23 in terms of the market in terms of you know content that we should get today and is this market going to be headed downwards as it's a slow promo week and as of course we still know foot birthday is out there on the horizon so we're going to talk about a lot today if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you have not first thing let's talk quickly about the content yesterday we'll start from the top right early content drops we had not one but two play of the month sbcs yesterday one of them is great value one of them is way too expensive this is the one that's too expensive it is the best rashford card in the game minus the four star weak foot right if they would have given this card a four star weak foot then a lot of people would look at this sbc and say hey you know what not bad value, but since it is three star, a lot of people prefer that World Cup Stories version, and this one just seems to be a little bit too expensive. Craftable, because it's out for 30 days, but overpriced. A lot of downvotes on Footbin, and I think that is very warranted. Now, the other player of the month was Cavaradona, Cavicha, right? Only one squad. It's not as good as his Future Stars card, but the fact that he's still four star, five star, and that it's still really, really cheap, that is a nice budget option for a Serie A left wing, or of course, you can play him center attacking mid as well so a nice sbc there a nice set of play of the month sbcs we saw the leagues we knew those were going to be coming but besides rashford i guess kavicha is, is a nice one but we need ea to upgrade that weak foot on rashford it feels like they're maybe waiting i guess it's going to be like team of the season until we get another weak foot upgrade on that rashford most likely so besides that content yesterday we just had the 6 p.m drop of course with the fantasy st foot stuff that was going on in the game and as a part of the 6 p.m content drop or actually it was before that as well so keeping it with the early Early theme, EA Sports decided to not even follow their own rules and upgrade these Road to the Final cards that were not due upgrades for uh, basically six days from now until the 17th of March, right? That day where everything seems to be going down. These cards were not supposed to be upgraded until then. And we, you knew that and we expected that. And that was kind of like a bummer. But EA was like, hey, we're not going to follow our own rules and just upgrade the cards anyway, right? Wesley Fofana and Leon Gretzka both got a plus two, specifically for Fofana. I want to take a look at his price right now. He is right now about 355,000 coins on the market. I have actually picked up a couple of these cards because um, I think he is going to end up starting to go up in price a little bit as people have sold this card after the upgrade, right? A lot of people invested and like to sell after an upgrade happens. And what you saw yesterday was his initial upgrade, right? He was about 340,000 coins. He spiked all the way up to about 380 and then started getting listed down and went all the way back down to about 340 where I was able to pick, I think I have like six of them, maybe five or six, just because I feel like this is one of the most hype cards in this game right now with the upgrade. He does look very good. He's still a live card. Yes, his next potential to upgrade is not going to be for a few more weeks, but this is still a very, very good card. I tried him out in game and uh, he's now an 89 rated, right? On the road to the 400K price that we probably believe he will reach by the time we get to the next round, if they get a favorable draw, uh, of course, that, that draw show is going to be, I think, this next Friday on the 17th as well, after the second week of the Champions League games are played this coming week. So that'll factor into his price, of course, as well. But this is the point that I wanted to bring up. Fofana right now is an 85 pace French center back. Looks kind of familiar to another center back we have that just dropped in this game as a part of the fantasy promo that is extinct at 750,000 coins. Now, I understand both these cards are live. I understand Oop Meccano is brand new. And technically, if you look at the stats, Oop Meccano has, you know, maybe just a little bit better passing, maybe a little bit better physical. But Fofana's got better defense um, and a little bit better dribbling. And honestly, guys, with the way this Oop Meccano card is formatted with the 77 acceleration, the 91 sprint speed, right? The pace split is not that good for this card. It's definitely better for uh, Fofana. If I could find Wesley Fofana, I think it just went past him. 
This card is better than Upmakano, in my humble opinion. Not a top 100 gameplay player, of course, but 81 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, high and average body type. But this card's 360,000 coins right now, and this card is extinct. I think this card, Upmakano, is there's so many upgrades that are factored into this guy right now. And as I look at the rest of the Foot Fantasy team, I honestly think Fofana is the better buy, and that was another one of the reasons why I went out and picked up a couple of them, hoping for a bit of a rise. The longer this card stays extinct or just over, you know, 500,000 coins in value, which I think he's probably going to stay there, um, that looks Fofana look like a lot better value, right? Kind of makes him better value. So, in my opinion, Upmakano, the more that I look at this with Ruben Diaz, he just kind of spiked up in price for some late night rarity. He's 1 million coins at the moment. Do I believe he's going to be over 1 million coins still? No, I think he's going to fall down in price further today. He was low 900s earlier on today where I bought him, uh, sold him too early. It kept going up, but with this card being a million coins, it's still live. I just believe this Upmakano, the more that I look at it now, and the longer that he stays extinct as well, I just feel like this is going to be a card that if it stays extinct for too much longer, people are going to be like, I might not want to hold on to this card, even though, yes, the upgrades look really, really good. And of course, you would expect this card to get a lot of upgrades. Is it worth the risk of holding on to it at 750,000 coins? EA have not updated the price range yet. I don't like it. I'm going to be honest. I, earlier on today, it looked good. But since the EA have not updated the price range yet, that for me is one that I am just not a huge fan of. Unless they update the price range here really soon and you can get out when it's above, you know, whatever, 750,000 coins, 800K. I just don't know if he is going to stay there. He might because, again, people are so excited for the upgrades. They just saw Bayern play really well in the midweek and they're expecting Bayern to get a lot of upgrades. And, of course, you think about this card like, oh, my goodness, Nate, this guy might get a plus four, right? They might satisfy all the upgrade criteria and he'll be a 92 rated card and my comeback to you would be i'll see you in uh literally the middle of april when that will be physically possible after six game weeks actually you know what not even the middle of april i will see you in like the end of april or early may when it's team of the season time and this card will finally get upgraded with this last upgrade after six game days have gone by so that's the part of this card that i guess i think is overpriced at the moment but i understand the hype it is a cool card um and with this foot fantasy team number two going through it we knew the leaks right we knew what this team was going to look like um it's just, it's okay. It really is. There's nothing too much more to say about it. Eden Hazard is nice. Ruben Diaz is nice. I tried out this Diogo Jota card yesterday, and I can't lie. I had an absolute blast with him. He was cracked, and I was not expecting it. By the way, I tried an engine to Inception's Delight. I tried an en engine in this card, but I didn't like it. I liked him actually better with the Hawk. Now, I only played, like, I think five or six games of them, but... He was so fun to use. He was fast. He had great dribbling. And uh, his, his shot power on the weak foot, on the strong foot, was just like it was a rocket. So just don't shoot too long with him because his long shots are pretty low. But anything in and around the 18, green timed, is like a freaking laser. So big fan of this card. He was a blast. Now, for most of these foot fantasies, basically all of them, I do expect their prices to drop off today, right? It's a Saturday. What happens? People open their packs from Weekend League. They maybe open some more lightning rounds. People that are trying cards just sell them because they know the price has dropped. So at some point today on Saturday, I do believe that a lot of these cards will drop down in value. Uh, and as you can see, some of them are even up right now. Ruben Diaz was not over a million coins um, for a while. To start today, he was. He went down. It's kind of back, um, back up now. So I do believe most of these will end up cheaper uh, when we're looking on the video at their prices tomorrow than they are today. Same thing for the Fantasy Foot Heroes. I mean, this team of heroes is solid right it really is aloe wayron is crazy rare crazy expensive he was like 10 million coins went down to like four mil went back up to seven it's probably not selling there right now but he's very very rare um papen morientes one thing about morientes that's actually a bit uh frustrating is they removed traits from his uh world cup card they removed the finesse shot and the outside foot shot traits on this new version which is very frustrating because it's like those are the two most useful cards and Two of the traits that made this Morantes card really great uh, for an SBC earlier on in the year. But this hero team is decent. Uh, they did actually give some bigger upgrades to Dirk Kite than were on the expected stats. 
from the Sheriff League. So, you know, that's that. Again, it just felt like yesterday was just kind of an okay promo day, right? It felt like another promo Friday where, yes, the content was cool. We had new cards in the game, fun new cards to try. I'm not downplaying any of that, but it wasn't really that exciting. And what we kind of said in yesterday's video, one of the most exciting parts of the day yesterday was the hero player pick. And, and again, that refreshing made some of the market move the most, right? You had a lot of fodder moving because of that. Now, we did have a decent SBC, Sabitzer, right? It is a decent card. You can play any of the midfield positions. 5 foot 10, 4 star, 4 star, high, high work rates. Some of the Manchester United links are moving a little bit. I traded with a couple of Sancho with their wild cards. He is moving up because of that. And the price on this SBC at like 275,000 coins is not bad. It is four segments. You get four different packs back, which is, in my opinion, a plus. You just have to turn in more players. Um, it's not that bad. It's craftable. It's out for a while, like a week, right? Uh, six days, seven days. So plenty of time to get this done. And it could have been a lot worse, right? We remember the Sabitzer SBC from FIFA 21 or whatever it was. That was like 500K. This one, way better links. Yes, the potential to upgrade is not amazing for him, but we would hope and we would expect to see a plus two for Sabitzer, right? So United getting a win. And of course, him appearing in three different games, either as a starter or a sub. So that's a nice thing about him. I mean, a decent SBC, one that I probably will pass on but not a terrible card. If it has interest to you, maybe watch a couple of player reviews, stuff like that, and go from there. Now, a couple interesting things here. First of all, we had Juan Foyth as an objective, former Tottenham Hotspur player. This objective, he can play some different positions, center back, right back, and CDM, which makes his card pretty versatile. Only unfortunate thing is his card is pretty unfortunate, right? I mean, it's just not that great of a card, but it is pretty, pretty easy to do. It's in squad battles or rivals, so pretty easy there. We also had a cup, and this is nice, very nice, um, but we only have until Wednesday, or sorry, until Division Rivals Rewards to do this. They put this under the Objectives tab, and again, if you see like in the, the, the right here in the season progress, five days, three hours, that is when the season ends. That is when this cup will end as well. So Thursday at Division Rivals Rewards, boom, this cup is over. It doesn't actually go through Thursday into Friday like a normal cup would. So you have kind of one less uh, reset of games. You get six matches a day. And this is a must-do, honestly. Even if you're playing weekend league, during the week this week, if you can grind a couple of these games out, put together a team with four nations max, which is a little bit interesting, kind of like a... Maybe a requirement that makes you miss up your or makes you mess up your team a little bit and choose some different players. So that's kind of an interesting thing to play and have some fun with. Um, but you get some solid solid fodder packs from it. So no complaints for me there. That's something to grind during the week, uh, especially as a start during the weekend as well to get some of those games in, to get some of those wins and some extra fodder packs. So that is not too bad. Now, just a quick note as well for some of the fantasy cards that are in Fantasy Team 2, just so you guys are aware. Um, I do believe that there are a few of these cards that are a little bit unfortunate for the live aspect, especially Eden Hazard, right? I know this has been talked about and you, th you think about it, right? Part of the reason these guys get upgraded is for team and individual performance. Eden Hazard, like, doesn't see the pitch for Real Madrid. And if he doesn't appear in three matches in the next six games, it's probably not getting upgraded, right? We talked about that in last night's video. We're mentioning it here again because it's very, very important. Uh, but other cards like Benteke for uh, DC United, right? This Benteke, new transfer to the MLS last year, 16,000 coins. This would be one that I would try to club stock if you can get him at like, you know, today before too many people think about it, like 15, 14, 15K. If you can snag this card as basically a fodder card already, 86 is I believe or 16K. Yeah, Benteke is actually one of the cheapest 86 rated cards right now on this game is in 86. Um or sorry, he's an 85. I almost thought he was an 86. But the reason I'm saying that is I'm thinking about his upgrades. It is very likely that this Benteke card could get a win. He could get three appearances, and he could score two goals or two assists in six games. He's already been scoring goals for DC United in the early start of the MLS season. This is one that I would spend, if you can get it for 14K, 15K, that's great. Put one in the club and stash it, because this one could become an 88-rated card, which, of course, 88s are around 20 high thousand coins, right? So 85 to an 88 is definitely not impossible for Benteke. And for 15,000 coins, it's pretty much zero risk. Of course, 85s are a little inflated right now. That's also may maybe why I confuse them with 86s. But uh, if those were to drop off a little bit today as well, that would maybe make his price drop down a bit lower. So you might try to get him at like 13 to 14K at some point this weekend if possible. That's just kind of like last week uh, with Trimmel. 
um, in the fantasy team, you know, it's kind of the same situation where you maybe pick one up, put it in the club, and you're good to go. Now, speaking for the rest of the market, what happened yesterday? Because we did have that hero player pick reset. We talked about fodder going up. Fodder is up. 85s and 86s are up. That's the only part of the fodder market that is really up. If you take a microscope and kind of go through the fodder sections and you see what's up, that stuff is really what has moved the most. And that is the fodder sections that I would not want to invest in as we head into this next week. But other areas of the fodder market, 84s on bid, I think look pretty good. 87s and above look pretty good as well. We've been talking about it more uh, in the past couple of days, but these 91 rated cards, right? How much are they right now? Like 58, 59,000 coins for De Bruyne. Yeah, just under 60K. For some of this higher rated fodder, it honestly looks pretty decent because I would imagine that after the hero player pick expires tomorrow on Sunday, we're gonna gonna we're gonna get some other sort of icon pack, some other sort of SBC uh, with some higher rated squads in, inside of it. Preferably an icon pack, maybe a prime only icon pack. Maybe it's you know they include um, I don't know if they would do a player pick once again. It feels like maybe a mid or prime player pick would be possible, and that'd be something that a lot of people would be interested in. And that would probably be more expensive, right? And it would maybe have a higher rated squad in inside of it. So I think the play is either 84s or 83s on a super low tier fodder investment or you go for 88s and above on a higher tier fodder investment. I think both of those look pretty good right now at the moment. Um, and, um, you know, with player of the month potentially being Mbappe for this next upcoming week as well, if that gets leaked early on in the week, like I'm talking, let's say it's like Tuesday and we have news about a player of the month Mbappe coming out, that's going to be another reason for high rated fodder to start going up. Keep an eye on these man of the match cards if you want to invest in any of those, namely this Casemiro. A lot of people are looking to, to snag him as the cheapest 92 rated card in the game. I think this is a solid investment as low as like 72, 73K. That's pretty solid because you guys know that oftentimes when 91s go up in price, like 91s a couple weeks ago were like 70K plus. So almost 80k uh, at one point they were so if a card like this is 70k right now it's not that too ex not that expensive it's a promo card as well so that one i don't hate i bought one at like 72 put it in the club I, I plan to hold that for a while and i think it'll end up going up in price so for the fodder investment i think 83s 84s and then 88s and above maybe even 80, 87s as well look decent there now like i said for the market yesterday there was a little bit of panic uh of course kavara dono was panic sold because of his new player of the month that was uh, released. And I did trade with some Manchester United links. I bought this at 485, uh, bought some Sancho's at 350. But a lot of the other stuff on the market yesterday was just kind of, you know, it was kind of meh, right? A lot of prices didn't move that much. A couple things moved up and down in terms of the new promo cards. There were some good flips to have had there. And a lot of the market that I'm seeing right now, look at this messy. Um, I mean, not a lot of the market, but some specific points on the market are really starting to drop off. And what it feels like is some of these cards are just correcting. Messi was 750k on, what was it, Thursday? 750 as he was going out of packs. This guy is about to be 600,000 coins flat, which I do believe I'm very interested in for a potential flip here. Because this is very low, we might be able to trade it. It's still a messy in form. There's still a lot of demand. But another card that's down a lot is like this Mohamed's Lost Centurions. And there's a direct reason why this card is dropping. 1.29 at the moment. He was like 1.4, 1.5 for a long time. But this 93 in form is 600 and what? 70,000 coins, 660k for this version of Salah. I actually just picked one up at 630 because it was really, really low. Like this card is so similar to the Centurions. It's just, it was bound to happen as this card dropped that this one would drop as well because people would say like, oh my my goodness plus one passing and a different dynamic image in a card design does not make this card worth double what this one is you know so people may be selling this to go and use the new salah since it's basically the same stats and a lot cheaper and that also just kind of makes me feel like we're getting to a point in the market where we're still going to see some more price drop offs and some more corrections and i still think i mean i've been saying it for the past couple of days guys and i've been putting it out there and saying like hey be careful for this I still feel like we are due some panic selling. I feel like we are due some market sell-off in the coming days. And with these cards, and we're going to talk about this as we head throughout the rest of the week this week, but with these cards ending on Wednesday and these fantasy foot heroes going out of packs on Wednesday, 
Will that mean that kind of like we had right before team of the year, does that ring a bell when we had cards go out of packs early? And then we had the little two days of the team of the year warm up series promo. And there was a lot of panic in those two days because it was all about, hey, look at what's coming with the next promo. Maybe EA is going to do something like that. I'm not saying there's going to be like a foot birthday warm up series, but I'm just saying maybe EA is going to do something where they're ending this promo a couple days early so that they can extra build the hype for foot birthday. And that could create some more panic later on in this week, if not that starting already this weekend. So just be careful on the market right now is what I would say for today. Of course, the fantasy cards in packs and the heroes, they're going to be dropping off. Fantasy cards from team number one really didn't move that much as I look around most of that side of the market. A couple of cards are up a little bit. Some of the heroes uh, have gone up, but then other ones like Cordoba have gone down, right? He was like 1.2 million coins flat yesterday. Right now, he is 1.15, 114. Like he is definitely down. I feel like this market's still going to maintain the way that's been feeling just kind of meh, right? And not a lot of players are going to go up that much. Maybe some few here or there, but not too many players. So just be careful on the market as it is. As we head into today on Saturday, what could be dropped in the game today that could really create some havoc, create some problem? Really the only thing that I see creating some havoc today are these packs right here. I do think we're going to get these boosted packs, guys. I 100% do. I feel very strongly about that because these are specific packs. Since EA updated this code earlier uh, yesterday or on uh, Thursday, technically, they updated this code to add in the literal terminology that this was going to be a boosted chance of receiving fantasy foot players. We were looking for these packs all day yesterday. We did not see them. I feel like maybe EA didn't drop these packs on day one because they wanted people to open FIFA points. They wanted people to open packs. And then this pack would be dropped later on in the weekend as like a, hey, here's a new sort of cool type of thing to try to get people to open FIFA points so that we can make some more money from this promotion, right? I think that is maybe where EA is going with this. Could they also save these maybe for Sunday when the mini release is out with a couple more cards? The mini release obviously is going to be Tagliafico, Subasly, and Ricky Puig. Those are going to be the three cards in packs on Sunday as the mini release. Of course, this is the full team leak yesterday. So with those three guys in packs and all the heroes, maybe that's when EA would wait to drop these packs in the store. But specifically since these say foot heroes or foot fantasy players in them, it just feels like it has to be a part of this promo. So I'm still believing we're going to get these packs and I think they're going to wreak some havoc whenever they do get dropped. If the extra pack weight for the fantasy foot heroes inside of these, like if it's an actual boost to pack weight, right? Um, that of course will be something that we have yet to see, but I would imagine EA would boost it up at least a decent amount if they're going to advertise that. So I just feel like this is another impending thing out there that could crash the market a bit. And of course it would definitely impact fantasy foot team two cards. If a pack like that were to be dropped, you would absolutely see some A, panic selling, and uh, B, just a lot of extra supply on the market as people would definitely want to go and open packs to have a better chance at packing a cool, fun card uh, live, right, as well, that are in packs right now with Fantasy Team 2. So watch out for that today. And then also, I think this is going to be our SBC today. We had Al Jaber last week on um, Saturday, I believe. I think today we are going to get Mario Gomez player pick between the Stuttgart and the Fiorentina version. So watch out for this today it might be a pretty quiet day of content the only other thing they could maybe throw in there to surprise us with is maybe some more international man of the matches but um i don't know what uh i mean we had a lot of champions league and europa league and conference league last week so maybe they do that or maybe they don't this week so pretty quiet day in my opinion today on saturday unless they do something with those store packs and then we could see some stuff going on with some market movements. It was a decent day of trading for me yesterday. Got a couple lazy sales with this Bruno with that Kamavinga. Um, and I still have the Salah, like I mentioned. I, I did buy another Jota to try out and also sell. And then I do have, I think I have like five Fofanas, five or six of them. And I still have a couple Dina Tallies left uh, that I bought around uh, 220,000 coins. And since his card is extinct as well on the market right now, I mean, that made his card price just go up a little bit. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Just some small, quick flips yesterday, nothing super duper crazy. And, um, I'll probably keep it that way throughout the next day today on this game on the market. So let me know down in the comments what you think about this fantasy foot promo and how you're feeling heading into this next week of FIFA. And especially if there's any fantasy foot cards that you maybe are interested in. So let me know down below in the comments what you thought about that. But if you enjoyed today's video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. It's been Nathan Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.